Hey everybody, I'm Matt Vanicoro and I am thrilled to take you through some of my favorite features of iOS 10. There's a lot of undocumented stuff going on in there, so you can have a lot of fun, get a lot of work done, and enhance your workflow with a couple of these simple tips. The first few are going to focus on messages. The way you send and receive iMessages and texts has been overhauled in iOS 10. I'm going to open up the Messages app here, and I'll open up my first text conversation. Now, I can enhance everything I'm going to do, and we're going to take a look at a lot of different things by decking out iMessage with apps. So Messages now has its own iMessage app store. You can open up the apps by tapping the app button here next to the message bubble. Right away, you can see some of my common apps, the stickers and things that I'm enhancing my messages with. But if I want to go to the app store to purchase some of my own sticker packs or apps that are made specifically for iMessage, I tap the app list here in the bottom left corner and then tap store. And right there, there you can see there's lots of different apps that can enhance the functionality of messages. Some of them are just as simple as adding fun little stickers to your messages, but some of them are workflow things where you can send dinner reservations to other people, movie times to other people, and links to things so that you and that other person can be on the same page. So in the past where you might have had to have gone to that web page for a certain app or something, copy and paste the link and send it to them, now you can do it right in messages. If you have those apps installed on your iPhone, it will automatically show up here. So if I use Kayak, for example, I can have a recent search in there and send the plane ticket to someone and say, check it out, I just bought this plane ticket. So it's not all just about stickers, although the stickers are incredibly fun. You can send links to Apple Music, you could send links to all sorts of things, and they have their built-in GIF keyboard as well. So there's images, for those of you that like to send motion GIFs and things like that back and forth, you can just tap images and tap in a word and search for it. And you've got lots of different choices that you can throw up there. Once you find the one you want, simply tap on it, and it will show up in your message. You can tap the Send button to send it. You can tap the X button to cancel it and try again. 